folks, the long anticipated chapter one. If you're in a hurry to consume information and sit down, relax, take a breath, take a deep breath in, grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea, and let's get into it, which is what are the markets and why turtle soup? Now, before I start, I want to make something clear. You need to strip yourself of any information you have before this. All right? If you want to make the most of this, that's my advice. If you want to half-ass binge watch it, do what you want. All right? I can't help you. But if you want to make the most out of this, then before we even start, completely strip your brain of any information you know regarding the markets or trading or whatever. All right? And if you are a, a previous old student of mine, level 1, level 2, SOT, uh, then do the same thing. Watch it with a new, with a new leaf in your head. All right, completely with, with a clean slate. Uh, that way I can guarantee you that those who do that will milk more information from this than those who come and try and uh, catch a holy grail or catch a uh, catch a, uh, a plug and play strategy, right? So before starting, completely format your brain from all the garbage and nonsense you've been taught before by others who are not me. And uh, let's start. So a brief history lesson on the financial markets. The first ever stock exchange was founded in the early 1600s uh, with the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. And the first company to publicly uh, trade its stock was the Dutch East India Company, one of the most dominant forces in the 16 and 1700s. So trading and the stock market goes back almost four or five centuries back, right? Trading goes back uh, thousands of years, but the stock market uh, goes back uh, four or five hundred years. The charts go back three, four hundred years, right? So it's not, it's not something new. Uh, there was an influx of liquidity in COVID when people were desperate to find a way to make money online, Right? But the history is rich. And the reason I say this to you is to inspire, and this section of the lecture is to inspire you to think. Most of you probably, and your families, probably 9 out of 10, uh, only know how to put food on the table if you, uh, if you work for someone else, right? That's one kind of people. The other kind is people who have businesses handed down to them generation to generation to generation to generation. It's a business family, right? It's a trading family. I know people in the industry. Uh, they're a trader. Their father was a trader. Their grandfather, the great-grandfather, all the way back, right? So if you're from the working class, if you're an employee with an employee mindset, uh, then there comes one person who cuts that link off, who breaks the breaks the chain, and that could be you. Just some uh, some food for thought. All right, so from the 1600s all the way up to today, uh, with the stock exchanges we have now, with of course the NYC uh, NYSE being the largest, and amongst others, uh, that's. Setting a, uh, setting a foundation of how to think of the markets, right? Next, which market should you trade?
the safest market which has been in an uptrend since its birth all the way up to now is the S&P 500 all right so if you're an investor a long term investor then the safest bet you can make is buy the S&P right? buy the correction of course in the S&P and over the course of the next 10 years you'll be in net profit right so that's the most secure and safe vehicle of investment there is, uh, especially for those who have large capital, right, for everyone. And of course, you have the foreign exchange, you have the cryptocurrency markets, uh, and other markets which uh, need not be mentioned. Right, but these are the three main markets you should be focusing on, and they're the ones I focus on. Now... Why turtle soup? Why did you come here? Did you come because it was trending? Because everyone on Twitter was, was uh, talking about it? Uh, because you saw it happen and you didn't know how to get in? Like you, you can see turtle soup, but you don't know how to trade turtle soup yet. Why? Uh, why not just go and trade uh, an RSI? All right. Uh, you wait for a high. A higher high on the price and a lower high on the RSI divergence indicator, and you sell. It's that easy, right? A harmonic, draw some crabs and and bats with fib levels, or even you know d double top. Sell the neckline break. Uh, EMAs, Wyckoff, Elliott Wave. Why should we ignore all of these? And go to turtle soup. The answer is simple. Because for price to move, right, in order in order for price to even to go up or down, before every price leg, before every expansion, before any any significant price move, there is always a turtle soup. And every single concept you see over here works because of a turtle soup. Turtle soup, turtle soup, turtle soup. Uh, usually at the 0 0.618 level, there is a range in a turtle soup, and that's a model by itself. Uh, failure swing, turtle soup on the other asset, turtle soup, uh, range, turtle soup, decline. All right, so all of these work because of turtle soup. Every single thing on the chart you see and you trade currently or traded before this, it all worked because of a turtle soup. So if that's the case, then why waste time learning anything else? Makes no sense. So logically, you are wrong to try and invest your time learning anything other than turtle soup, right? So step one is recognizing that. Step one is recognizing that turtle soup is the only way or the most correct way. Um, you see these people battling in social media, discussing uh, what's the best strategy. And the answer is, all strategies work. You can make money flipping a coin. Right? You can literally guess. Uh, you can time your trades. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. And with... With a good risk management, you'll make money. All right? So that's the answer. The answer is anything. Do you need to learn turtle soup to make money? Nope. Is it the most efficient, effective, simple at the same time? So it's the most efficient, most effective, and simple of all the strategies you will ever see. And that's why I adopted it as... Uh, my main model, right? Everything I do is based on turtle soup. Anything new I learn, I try and fit it to turtle soup. Especially ICT, right? Of course, this applies to everything, but especially applies to ICT. Uh, for example, 
turtle soup, of course, is uh, falsely breaking below an old low or breaking above an old high. That's all it is. In simple terms, you are falsely inducing sellers down here and stopping up buyers or, of course, not you, the market makers, right? So they're pushing price above this high, making everyone buy and stopping out the sellers in profit and then tanking or vice versa. A breaker, right? The down close candle that caused the bullish purge or the up close candle that caused the bearish turtle soup. That's the definition of the breaker. Right? So this down this one specific candle, the breaker, that caused the purge and then it tanks. You look at the opening uh, uh, the closing price, excuse me. All right, open high, low, close. And here's something for you to go and dig into. Uh, the One of the techniques to get almost a zero drawdown entry is going to be using the closing price of breakers. All right, so the breaker is a breaker because of turtle soup. The order block, right, the thick down close candle, model number one, so they use they they use this thick cloud, down close candle to push into the old low, multiple old lows, even better, and then they close above it. That's an order block, and that is only valid because of a turtle soup. All right. So if you trade a breaker, you wait for turtle soup. If you trade order blocks, then you're waiting for turtle soup. If you trade an FVG, right? The FVG, the the highest probability FVGs occur after a turtle soup, right? So turtle soup, bearish imbalance, SIBI, or turtle soup, and then you have a bullish imbalance, right? So everything works because turtle soup. An OTE is uh, waiting for the second leg of the turtle soup, right? Turtle soup, expansion leg number one, OTE. Based on this expansion leg comes the OTE, right? Measured movement. Uh, standard deviations, turtle soup. So add, add the correct standard deviation, right? If the previous candle is ranging, you look for a turtle soup to happen. Market maker model, which I will speak about in depth in the next chapters. Also a turtle soup based concept. By itself, it's garbage. Any of these concepts by themselves are useless garbage. If you pair them with the turtle soup, then that's the highest quality setup you'll ever see. If there is no turtle soup, then there's no trade, right? No raid, no trade. And uh, with that thought, which is everything is based on turtle soup, everything. I hope you found that insightful. Wish you good luck. Good trading. And see you in the next one.